Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the BDO Beat, and we're happy to say being joined by no other than the 2015 World Champion and the newly crowned Welsh Open Champion, Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell. How are you doing, Scott? Right well, sir. Thank you very much. I tell you what, you've uh, had a busy weekend at the World Darts Trophy. Some lovely darts thrown there. You didn't obviously get through to the, you know, to make you know make the final. But uh, was you happy with your performance? Um, over the moon with the way I scored, um, absolutely appalled about how I doubled up. But, um, you know, that, that's the game sometimes. There's a few of us, you know, you do that all the time, but unfortunately it hurts when you do it on telly, you know, when everybody else gets to see it. Yeah, you would, yeah, because you did look fantastic. The 180s were going in, and uh, I will say it, it looked a really good tournament. I know it was changed at the last minute, of course, from Manchester, you know, uh, to the lakeside, but it looked great. And, uh, do you, do you think they'll keep it there? Well, we're hoping so. I mean, I think I think the lakeside uh, has a place for two two times a year. I mean, it, it, it felt very strange walking from the hotel uh, across to the venue in t-shirts, where usually we've got three jackets, a coat and a bubble hat on uh, in January. So, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a different feeling, even though it was the same place, but uh, a good one all the same. Yeah, and of course, a little bit of commentary as well. And I know, obviously, being in the commentary box is nice, but... Uh, you know, you'd sooner be out there playing, but you say really good coverage on, you know, on on, on Dave and uh, you say Mr. Mason. I, you know, I heard his his tones there once or twice, doing a, doing a good job. Re really impressed with that at the weekend. Really good. Yeah, I think I think the production was absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, it was all new, new to the to the production company, and I think they sort of uh, just just went at it with with, with the new ideas and. A new outlook to how they wanted it to look, and uh, using a few familiar faces, and um, for the dark people, and I, and I think it worked. Uh, I, I watched some of it back in the hotel, and I was, uh, yeah, I was impressed. And obviously, with the social media um, sort of posts and things, it, it seems very positive today. Yeah, Daryl Fitton, of course, he hit the winning double. Uh, would you? Uh, he's a friend of yours, but Daryl, is he one of those players who perhaps with his ability should have won more? I know it's perhaps not nice in being put in that position to say that, but he reminds me of one of the players who has all the ability in the world, but has never, you know, never quite won enough, you know, as much as he should have done. I, I know what you're saying. I think, I think Daryl would say that himself. I, I don't think that we, you know, we can hide away from that. I, yeah, he's been around a long time and, um, you know, you are in purple patches in your in your career, and you, and you go in and out and in and out. And yeah, I would say that he's always had that ability there, and we all know. I mean, it, it showed with me the other night. Obviously, I had the scoring power, and and I feel that that's one that's got away because I was playing so well, and I'm sure that he feels that he's had that a, a few times in his career as well. So, um, but I, I I thought he played amazing and 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 was thoroughly deserving of of. Uh, of, of the win, he, he was just so good in that final. Um, Machen didn't go away. Jamie Hughes didn't go away. He had to dig in, in on all his experience, and he came through it. And I think he is a fan's favourite at the BDO and and and, and all across darts. I think, and I don't think there'll be anybody that's upset that he won it. No, and it's a, a qualifier, Peter Machen in the, in the final, qualifier from Australia. I tell you what, that uh, says everything about darts, doesn't it? It's just, it, these sort of stories, it's nice, isn't it? You, you know, that, that, that the players who, uh, the, who maybe one or two of the fans are not that familiar with think, hey, you know, it's open to anyone, pick up your darts, you know, enter these tournaments and there's a chance, isn't there? Well, we saw the same with Craig Caldwell, didn't we, at uh, Lakeside. When I played him, he's uh, banging in a 93 average and I'm just hanging on for grim death to get near him. So, you know, they're down there. They're down there in the Southern Hemisphere. These players are around and... Um, you know, we just we just don't get to see them. But uh, lucky with the way that the new BDO system works with these regional tables, you know, we're, we're getting to see, get these people over. You know, your Jeff Smiths, your Jim, Jim Widmeyers and um, Larry Butler back at the World Masters. It, it's, it's just great for the sport and, and great for the BDO, really. Yeah. You mentioned average. What about Lisa Ashton, obviously, collecting the, the ladies beating Dita in the final, but in the quarterfinal, I think... Uh, uh, a 98.84 average. This is just ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think she was playing Corin Hammond and not me. Um, that was what I was thinking at the time. While those sixes were absolutely flying in. Um, yeah, I, 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 I just absolutely amazing. Obviously, a, a record average at Lakeside, um, and it just goes to show that uh, the ladies' dance is really good at the moment. Although, although she didn't sort of reach those heights again. The fact is that she's reaching them. That that's the point. She's reaching them, and uh, it was fantastic to watch. I think all the fans loved it. 
and uh, that that that's what it's all about. And we, uh, yeah, we got to em- we got to embrace these moments because that was fantastic. Because I, I <laughs> so the way she was thrown, I did actually say to somebody, "Do you know what? She could take this nine daughter." Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That now wouldn't that be something? And uh, I, I, you, you, your world ranking is. I mean, you're around the, the top three or four now, obviously, because you you, you won a couple of weeks ago in um, in the, in the Welsh Open. It's like a, another player like Dean Reynolds. He's shooting up as well, and he had a great great tournament. There's, there's lots of talent coming through, isn't there? He's like Dean is a Dean is a fabulous dart player. Um, I beat him last September, I think, in, in the uh, England Masters 6-5 or 5-4. It was only by the odd leg. Um, he, he is a huge talent. that's going to be a big name in the sport. But you talk to him out the back, in the back and he's so very soft-spoken. He is, isn't he? And, and, and he jumps up there and kicks that hockey and then he just turns into this sort of tiger figure that is going absolutely mental at everything he does. And, and he bounces off of his own uh, good play, yeah. if you like. I mean, my MVG does it. And, and I think Dean's doing that as well. And, and every time he hits a big score, it just spurs him on to hit another one. Brilliant. And we mentioned, say, mentioned the Welsh Open. That was nice a couple of weeks ago, uh, Scott. And hey, in, there's no better way of doing it than defeating the world's number one in the final. Good work there. No, absolutely. Yeah, I, I had a bit of a run there. I had the world champion as well in the semi, so that was good. I was, I was, um, yeah, I was, I was uh, feeling, feeling Billy Big Boots that weekend. <laughs> that's, that's all I can explain it. Um, the, the, the new darts are going great uh, that I've got from Winmau. So, um, yeah, I've had them sort of 12 or 15 weeks now and really starting to feel good with them. And hopefully I can do some more of that as the year goes on. Yeah, I, I know after you, uh, unfortunately, when you went out of the World Championship at uh, early part of the year, saying, well, you know, a bit more time on the practice, not as many as exhibitions. But, hey, I think the exhibition are doing more and more, aren't you? It's so popular. It's such a nice bloke, Scott. That's what it is. I think just remaining yourself is very easy when, you know, the next morning you're going off cutting a lawn for a £10 or, um, you know, you're mucking out some cows or something. You know, it, it tends to keep your feet on the floor. And uh, I'm fully appreciative that, uh, you know, the Dart fans pay the money and want to come and see us. And if they don't want to come and see us, there's no us. So uh, I, I kind of appreciate that and try to let them know that we appreciate them turning out for us. No, that, that, that's great. And what, what's up next um, in, in the calendar for yourself? Um, I think we've got Breen at the weekend, the British International Open at uh, Pontins at Breen Sands, which has uh, been on the calendar forever and a day, I think. So, um, you know, we, we, we head to our annual June homage back to, uh, yeah, back to Breen Sands. Oh, sounds fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, Scott, hopefully you enjoy yourself and best of luck down there. And thank you so much for joining us on the BDO Beat. No problem. Thank See you, you later. Scott. Speak to you soon, mate. Cheers.